So once again, Melissa is causing a lot of waves on social media. Apparently her latest posts on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, is causing a lot, a lot of controversy. But it's escalating. We're moving from Spyglass to, quote, her own representatives are thinking of dropping her as a client. And what do I think? Well, let me give the quick background on the controversy. Essentially, the producers of Scream, who are Spyglass, people keep saying it's the studio. It's not the studio. It's the production company. So Spyglass produces the Scream movies, and people keep hating me for saying this, but it is what it is. The two prominent people who control Spyglass are Jewish. And like it or not, the people they work with are also Jewish executives at Lionsgate and other companies. It is what it is. You guys don't like that? Double check it yourself. That is the ethnic identity of those people. And one of those Jewish producers is from South Africa. And that will become relevant very soon. So what do I think about this? Well, I think it's nothing. If she wants to be pro-Palestinian, whatever. I mean, again, I'm consistent. For instance, Sylvester Stallone, he is very conservative. Sly is a Republican. Sylvester is very conservative. Schwarzenegger is conservative. Mel Gibson, I admit, is a very controversial case. He is an outright fascist and anti-Semite. That's their politics. There's the performance, and then there's the politics of the performance. I try to judge those things separately 90% of the time. If you don't like Melissa or you honestly think she's a hater or a racist, fine. That's who she is ethically. has nothing to do with her as a performer. Spyglass is punishing her for her politics, not because she's, quote, a bad actress or she's being incompetent or failing at her job. So I think that's really dumb, but it is what it is. But apparently now even her own reps are getting fed up with her because she's too political or whatever. And I'm like, that is not relevant. If you think she's not performing her job, we have civil suits. You can sue her for failing to be a good client or, quote, be a good actress. But if she's showing up to work, she puts in an effort, she earned her paycheck, that's the end of the question for me. So I don't think she's an expert on the Middle East. I agree with some of what she's saying. But some of what she's saying is frankly very not well grounded. She hasn't done a lot of research. So I don't really trust her as an expert. Seems simple to me. However, and this is where it's going to get difficult, I think we can't ignore the elephant in the room, which is this kind of pro-Israeli propaganda push. And this is where the South African link is real. Now, I'm not accusing Spyglass of being the Mossad or working for Israel or being part of a conspiracy. However, there's this very good book by James Bamford called Spyfall, and he goes into a lot, I mean, massive documentation on how Israel has consistently, for decades, been very successful using Hollywood, using a lot of front groups to push a very propaganda agenda. And is this a coincidence? Maybe, maybe not, but it is a well-known fact. They do cultivate these Hollywood ties, and one of these guys is from South Africa. And you know who was a major ally of Israel for decades? South Africa, under apartheid. So, it is what it is. This is a very ugly, murky side of Hollywood. I'm just shocked they're being so blatant. Usually propaganda from Israel or any country tends to be subtle. You don't want to be too obvious. But now it's getting really obvious where it's becoming so polarized. And I was going to do this anyway, but I'm going to probably do more on this. Just show little clips, little parts of documentaries. Just give a more balanced picture. And I want to be clear, there's definitely propaganda on the Palestinian side, but definitely on the Israeli side. It is overwhelming. It is insane. So I really don't care, for the most part, what Melissa puts on social media. That's her right. I agree with some of the stuff. Some of the stuff I don't care about, but I do support her right to have those opinions. And this is just getting ridiculous. We're punishing people for having opinions you don't like. That's just insane.